Hey y'all, it's Robert Davis back here with you. Um, I wanted to do a follow-up to the tutorial I just recently posted within the last two and a half, two, two and a half hours on YouTube channel. Um, it seems like there's a great deal of need that's already been viewed six times. Um, so... I'm going to take you through the tutorial that we built and add on to that for you so you can watch how building a report manually is done. Let's just get right to work and let me show you the application of the CNS now because I've tidied it up quite a bit. <clears throat> there you go. I've styled it differently. Um, it's no longer sizable. It's centered on the screen. Um, all the controls work. They're all hooked up. Um, I've moved. I put a file menu there, and that's where our quit goes now. And the reports menu only has reports. As you can see, there's our report. One more of the birthday list. And they're still in birthday order because that's the uh, last thing I left the table ordered by. The index field name was date of birth. And then uh, see, we can edit this right here. Just double click on the field. And uh, I'm going to put... And then, the minute you scroll off of it, it uh, posts that to the database. So if you quit this, and you go back to it, you see the phone number's been saved. Okay, let's get down to business on creating a report manually. So what we want to do, <clears throat> is put a new FRX report on there. We don't need to do anything else, just double click here. There we go, there we go. And we'll go report data. You always have to do that. Okay. Now, Let's put a report title and then we'll put a text object and call this phone list. We want that centered, center line, and we want that bold. And so that it does the centering right, we need to stretch this uh, text object pretty much the width of the report. And I guess we could push that up there and give a little bit of space. And let's get to the meat of it. This is all about our data. We want the master data band. And we're going to assign that the FRX DB data set one that's on the main form. Okay, since this is a phone list, we'll go with, um, we're going to go with last name. Oh, and you see how it carried over the object formatting. I want to left align that and turn bold off. And that's all you have to do. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Had to get it into the band right. Okay, and then last name and um, 
first name. Oh, uh, I see what's going on. There, the field width is too wide. Uh, I'll shrink that down. Well, we will. I'm serious. I promise. I'll shrink that down to about there. Bring this one over. Shrink that down. And then middle name. It's very sensitive to mouse movements, as you can see. There we go, there's middle name. And we'll take phone. Shrink that down, that's way too wide. And then finally, email, in case we want to contact them by email instead of phone. And that'll do. Let's see how we're doing. There you go. Simple phone list. Now, I the reason Nancy doesn't have the phone number in there is because I didn't refresh the date table in the form one. So let me do that before you close this temporarily. And um, we'll go to ADO table one, set the active state to false, and reset it. And there's the phone number for Nancy. Uh, so everything's fine. We can go back to the report. Yeah, there we go. A little bit too much space between them so you can tighten that up. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's more like it. Well, you see this phone number is wide. So let's fix that. Move this over. Well, okay. And we'll widen this up a bit. Yeah, that ought to do it. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, there you go. You get the whole phone number in there. And there's plenty of room for the email. And we've got plenty of room for the names. Um, let's dress this up a bit. We're going to... Uh, on the report title... No, no, I'm sorry. Let's see what that looks like still. Yeah, um, we want to put in another band for the page header so we can put some text objects in there to say what we're looking at. So here we go. Let's put in uh, <coughs> last name. Another text object. We'll align these in a second here. Um, first name. Yeah, let's shorten this up. And you see how you get the little bar that means you're aligned with the end, and you get the little bar that means you're aligned with the beginning and we shorten that up just a little bit um, and we want another text object this will be middle name supposed to happen. I fat fingered the keyboard backspace. We want colon. Shorten that up just a tad. 
um, another text object. We'll say phone. One more text object. Email address. Nope. Semicolon. There. Okay. And so we've got the report title and the page header. Give it a little more separation here. And a little bit more here. Just a tad. Let's see how we look now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we have no page footer, so we could put that on if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that. Same page uh, footer band. And we're just going to stick in here um, a system variable of page number. Put that right in the middle. Let's see how we look. Well, it shouldn't be way up there. That's a footer. Do we have a page footer? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, let's fix this. Go. Here. Get rid of this by clicking on it in the top bar and say delete. And let's see how we look now. There we go. There's our page number down here. That's not center though. It's close, but no cigar. And we don't do government work. It's not close enough. So let's uh, let's center this, and we'll bolt it too, and uh, stretch this the width of the page. If we can, yeah. And you see it just continually centers it. And that ought to look pretty good. Now let's see, let's do something with these column names for the data. Shift click to select them all and do everything at once. And let's just underline and take the uh, edit frame wizard, select the solid line. We want underline, no shadow. That ought to do it. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at that. There you go. Isn't that cool? You can also uh, extend these lines. For instance, just extending the object w will extend the line as far as you like. So we'll go there. Just for fun. Preview. There you go. We'll close that. And we'll close this will go to the main menu well okay reports we want to insert this here call it phone list double click on it to get the click event tab 
FRX report three show report and it wants a it wants a boolean true okay let's see what we got now on the application <laughs> go to the reports menu select phone list and look there's our phone list. We hand built this with Fast Report 6 uh, with no wizard. Uh, the only thing we used was the, the frame wizard. Um, there's our page number. Uh, and just uh, set the underlining on these field names. So, let's see, let's tidy this up just a hair. Um, design FRX3 and this doesn't need to be that big that's fine that's fine are we lined up uh, yeah are we lined up here? Yes. And there. I don't know. Wait. There we go. Preview. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I see that last name. Field didn't, uh, f the field name didn't have to be so wide. We'll close that, close that, run the application, go to the reports menu, select phone list, and there you go, there you go, page one of one. We could do that, but I'll save that for the next tutorial on how to use the, how to implement end user custom reporting. Uh, for manually building, that's for Fast Report 6 inside Delphi. It's also available for C++ in Delphi. Uh, not in Delphi, in Rad Studio, the sister product to Delphi. I much prefer um, Delphi. It's uh, it's a little, uh, well, considerably less confusing than the C programming language. But their implementation, Embarcadero's implementation in RAD Studio C++ is really good. It's probably the best on the market. So there you have it. We'll quit this. And it was real nice being with you. And we'll follow this up with another tutorial, like I said, on implementing custom reporting with end user report design. It has a report writer in it that uh, is exposed to the end user. And I'll show you that next time. So thanks for staying with me here. Um, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I thank you very much. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.